Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to enable custom maps in Tetrio. Now the funny thing is when you search for Tetrio custom maps in YouTube, it shows as an autofill result, but there actually aren't any real videos on how to enable these custom maps. Well, thankfully, that's what this tutorial is all about. So first, you're going to want to search Tetraio Plus in your preferred web browser. Okay, now if you're using Google, um, you're going to want to click on the first link that pops up. Um, and the website should look something like this. Okay, now you're going to want to scroll down to installation and click on the link to the desktop client. Okay, now you're going to want to click download on the Tetrio Plus app azar.zip. Click on it and it should start downloading and you should have a zip file on your downloads. Okay, now in the zip folder, uh, we should have an app.asar in there. Um, now we're going to want to drag that to our desktop for now. Alright, now time's for the kind of tricky part, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Okay, so first you're going to want to right click Tetrio and click open file location. So now a new menu should open up. You're going to want to click on resources at the top. Okay, now you should see there's already an app.asar in this folder. We're going to want to replace it with the app.asar we have on our desktop that we copied earlier. So now we want to drag and drop it into this resources folder. Replace the file in the destination. And that's it, we're done. Congratulations, you have just installed Tetrio Plus on Windows. Okay, if you did this properly, you should have a Tetrio Plus window open right when you click on Tetrio. I also have my own custom sound effects and custom skin in, so you won't be seeing that on yours, but um, that's not necessary for the custom maps. So anyway, when you open up Tetrio, you're going to want to go to the Tetrio Plus window and you're going to want to scroll down and then you're going to want to check the enable custom maps box all right and now that we've enabled the custom maps we're going to want to hold f5 so that tetra restarts uh this will make the changes go into place so now we're going to go to solo custom and then go to the meta tab and uh, now you should see the custom map string so enable the custom map and now using this handy little built-in map editor uh, we can make our own custom map all right well i'm gonna make my own custom map real quick i'll speed this part up for you guys so you don't have to watch through the entire thing Alright, uh, now I'm done with my custom map, so in this output box, I'm gonna copy all the information and then I'm going to paste it into the custom map string box. And now, uh, my custom map works. Oh, whoops, uh, I didn't mean for that to happen. But yeah, as you can see, <laughs> um, it does work. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And um, I'll try to be making videos more consistently from now on, but if I can't because of like school and stuff, oh well. Bye.